This is the real-time clock of the next-gen enhanced and intelligent screens. At least when it works as expected. In this video, we'll have a look at what we can do if something doesn't work as we'd like it. In the next-gen debugger, we may deal with the real-time clock registers RTC 0 to RTC 6. In a first attempt, we will set our simulated device to an arbitrary date and time. I choose to set the end, the very, the very end of the year 2011 to see if it will correctly turn over to 2012. And now let's see what happens in the next 30 seconds. It worked. Happy New Year! That worked. But what about a real next gen device? How can I deal with it? I select to connect it in the debugger. And then, when I see that it's correctly connected in the bottom line, I will click on Run All Commands and what happens. Now that the screen is connected over serial to USB, it will exactly accept and get the same commands from the command window. So as we can see, now it has been set to the previously set registers and we we'll see again this time on the real screen, the roll over to the year 2012. And again, Happy New Year! Sometimes things will not go as expected. For example, due to power supply problems or other issues, it may be that the real time clock registers are preset arbitrary bytes which makes that the RTC cannot work correctly. What can we do? Again, the next debugger will allow us to resolve these problems by using the operation menu. For example, we can reinitialize or calibrate the simulated next-gen device or the connected real next-gen device to set it to the current computer's time and date. Here is what happens on the connected next-gen device. When the command arrives, hooray, we are back to the current time and date, all problems solved. 